Alright, so let's have a chat with Smurfette. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? I was worried. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hand. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. That's right. If you hadn't shown up, I... Get on your knees. Thank me. I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. <clears throat> I know. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. I'd like to talk about you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs. Oh, bye. Unearthing See you later. items buried in long forgotten oh, Prothean ruins. Look how cheesy some of these dialogue. You must get lonely. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> and lonely. So cheesy. You sound so Sometimes lonely. Sometimes I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. They would have my way with me. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. Several times I never several found times myself in over. any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. <laughs> yes, because you get tired of their dicks ravaging your orifices. You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Into the future? Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. Uh -huh. You share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. <laughs> that is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. <laughs> then she slapped me and I called me a drawn bitch. To the past. <laughs> the Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. Ooh. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. I'm fascinating? Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. Yes, actually. What? No. Wait, no. I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Ooh. And no, that's in even worse. In-depth, huh? <laughs> I'll let you get in-depth to my boxes. Down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess. How could I be so dense? By the goddess. You think I am a complete and utter fool. Yes. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. All right, take your top off. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. <laughs> At least I hope so. Maybe she got bored of being unemployed after the next generation ended and needed to have another job. So she teamed up with Saren. He's the only one hiring. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Venezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to blah, the Blah, 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 skip it. Other species, oh, look, rumors. It seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Ooh, like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. Whoa! My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. You're all hot blue this chicks. second parent, however, may be of any species and any Ooh. gender. Ooh! That's disgusting, he says. How is that possible? I don't understand. 
Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term. Not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved. May not. But it is not an essential element better be. of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology mental? allows us to meld with You're the fucking human. mental. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits on to our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding Listen, baby, of other races. I know about sex, all right? And all I know is, unless there's a way for my dick to fuck your brain, I don't see how you think that sex could be mental. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. A one-night stand. Others can be more long-term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long before we ever mastered spaceflight. Dude, Shepard, you dumb fuck. Meeting with our own kind is You're no stupid. longer common. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained. Or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult among my people. Oh. It is possible Benezia's partner oh, was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Oh snap, honey. You ain't nothing but a pure blood. Uh uh uh. Take that. Maybe she wanted to meet you, but couldn't. <laughs> Something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. Maybe she was a slut. But I have no way to know for sure. Maybe she was Boy George. Who knows? Never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. How do I deal with that? You Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. Wow. And even after Live for the gone, moment. a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. I think we've heard enough from her. We did, like, every conversation. I should go. Here. Goodbye, Shepard. Holy crud. So we learned about all their sex rituals. Excellent. I don't know how you could possibly have sex without physical intercourse. That's ridiculous. Now let's talk to, uh... Let's talk to Elton John here. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? Speak your mind, soldier. Elenko, when it's just you and me, you can consider it off the record. That's a generous attitude. Okay. I think there's something wrong with all this. <laughs> This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get back up from the council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. Hmm. Interesting. The council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. <laughs> Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, all brain in camp. Kind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. Huh? There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Element zero, eh? 
that almost, I think that's going to have a connection to the sequel, but... Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. <laughs> Sounds like a legit operation to me.